We had a slight change of plans. What's up, fam? Good morning. morning. Good afternoon. We are actually going to lunch right now. We've got some people back here. Mimi, Hi. Addy, Kyson, Kaden, and Lilia. Is that who's in here? We just took two cars. We're, at, we're going to lunch right now because today Tommy and Kaden are leaving back to their mom's house for the start of the school year. It's insane that the summer has already like pretty much come and gone. Gosh, so we are having like a big family lunch at Chevy's, which is... Whoop. That got me. What was that? It was a coin. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was interesting. Why is everything so loose? I don't know. We're meeting up with us 10, of course, like with Mimi and all of us. Our, my, our immediate family is basically 10. And then we have Amanda and Dana meeting up with us and oh. my aunt. So we're just having like a farewell. Uh -huh. They're, their flight, yeah. Their flight leaves in about three hours from now. So we're all meeting at one of our favorite places. So Chris and I drove separately. That way he can go straight to the airport from here. And then, ah, oh man, I just, it's time. Do we have everyone out of the car? Evie's running the show. <laughs> and it's so cute. Dude, she is so loved. Like, she is so many. How was lunch, How was Good, 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 good. How's lunch? They lit it on fire. Okay, he got his fire. Something you should know about Dane is that he won't order something unless they can actually set it on fire. He asks every time. <laughs> actually. How's dinner? Or lunch? How's lunch? How's lunch? Amazing? <laughs> We ended up not vlogging the rest of the day yesterday. Yesterday marked kind of like the end of summer for us. Tommy and Kaden went to their mom's house. Lilia actually went to her dad's house. They have like a family reunion this weekend. So that's down, th how many kids is that? Three out of seven. And then today we're actually, Chris and I are getting ready to drive to Nevada right now. The boy's dad moved out of state a few months ago and I offered to bring them to go visit him before, you know, summer comes to an end. I wanted them to be able to see him at least like once before school starts up. So Chris and I are making the drive today and we're gonna go drop them off there and then we're actually gonna stay local somewhat local I should say like within the area we're gonna stay, stay like a city over from where they're visiting and then we're gonna bring them back with us at the end of the weekend so that is what we're doing right now we're packing look at this bag this bag is probably my favorite bag of life I got this as a gift from the Disney wish the inaugural sailing it's so nice I just love it so much we're only gonna be gone for like a what is that a day and a half two days so I don't really need to bring a suitcase or anything it looks like it's between a three and four hour drive we just had to ignore a GPS of course depending on traffic and all that so we're going from having seven kids down to five kids down to four kids and then the three obviously are the ones that I offered to take to go see their dad but Kaden decided he wants to stay back my mom offered to take Addie for the weekend for us just like up to her mountain house and then since Kaden doesn't want to go she's going to take him as well so we're actually just taking the two we're just taking Tyson and Landon today. So that brings us down to two kids. Of course, it's only going to be for um, Tonight. Well, actually that brings us down to zero because my mom's taking the two So Chris and I are gonna be kids We go from having seven kids all summer to having zero for the next day and a half I just wanted to stay local just in case like they've never been here before. Hopefully that makes sense Our life is so confusing. I wouldn't be surprised if you're confused as well It's confusing for us and we live it all the time There's just always so much change and so much stuff going on But we have two weeks until school starts guys two weeks. I've got my stuff. I need to pack the boys stuff Are you sure? Yes That you don't <laughs> Positive, it's your last chance. You have about 15 minutes to change your mind. Nope. Okay, you sure? Yep. You positive? Positive. Do you need anything from me before I leave? Okay. Oh! <laughs> I love you. And some ice cream. Ah! You're a stinker.
Parker. <laughs> That's a hard no, sorry. Okay, I'll see you back on Sunday, okay? Okay. Have fun with Mimi. Okay. Mwah. Love you. Love you. Kisses, kisses. Mm. You boys ready for a road trip? Yeah! Woohoo! Sure. <laughs> Look at my new hairdo. Oh, yeah, I braided Kyson's hair this morning. And it's so cute. I absolutely love it. It's, it's the best. It's like a soccer thing to like have your hair like that. We should do your hair like that every soccer game, yeah? yeah? This should mean my new hairstyle. I love it. I love it a lot. All right, we're stopping at the gas station. We're gonna grab some snacks. It's our road trip tradition anytime we drive anywhere far. That's gonna get gas. We're gonna get snacks. And then we're gonna continue our road trip. You want to snacks for Oh, that's a good idea. Okay, what's our rule? A lot of candy. No. One candy, one chip. Okay, boys, I want to see your picks. What do you get from the gas station? I got some Gatorade, um, Sour Patch Kids. There's two flavors. Okay. I got hot bunions and beef jerky. Hot, hot bunions. Okay, Landon, what'd you get? I got beer fish, candy, Gatorade, Powerade, two big long jerkies. Two big long jerkies. <laughs> Ayo, Dad. Ayo. What do you get from the gas station uh, on a road trip? Jerky, Chex Mix, and a Reese's. Jerky. And then a water. Super hopper. Chex Mix, Reese's, and a water. I got sea salt and vinegar chips, a little cheese thing, and then I got saltine crackers just because I don't know what's up with me lately, but I... I've been getting motion sickness in the car. I actually took Dramamine this time because you have to go like up through the hills and stuff. I don't think I've ever taken Dramamine ever in my life. It's like a anti-motion sickness thing. I just, I never get motion sickness. So I don't know if it's just like with age, maybe I'm pregnant. I don't know. Wishful thinking. I don't know whose it is. <laughs> just kidding. But I just get motion sickness all of a sudden like when I drive on long drives. So took Dramamine and then I have my water. I pack my water. There's like water for days in here. You can't forget your energy drink, Chris. Oh, yeah. This is, yeah, I was saying neither me nor Chris drink coffee at all, ever. We just both don't like it. So, you know, we have like a lot of odd similarities that are just like, who, how many, out of how many adults does, do, does someone not drink coffee? Like, I feel like that's not very common. And Chris and I, neither of us like coffee. So, this is his coffee. He always drinks energy drinks. Is this one of those like low sugar at least? Yeah, no sugar, no artificial color. But for me, I don't do anything. I just drink water, lemon water. I don't ever drink coffee. I don't ever drink, okay, I don't really drink anything other than water. With like certain meals, I'll drink a soda. But other than that, I just, I'm a water drinker. I love water. I like my saltine crackers. 10 minutes down, three and a half hours to go. I've got my handy dandy computer to work, which is probably contributing to my motion sickness, but I always work, so. I don't know why it just like flared up all of a sudden. I'm just getting old. Dad, did you crack your Hit stop number one. Low stick. I want to be cracked. One. Can you crack me? <laughs> Here. <laughs> did you get cracked? I got cracked. Did you get cracked? Uh, yes, a lot. First I pit stop. A glow stick, yeah. <laughs> Are you a glow stick when you get cracked? <laughs> Up in the mountains, this cute little bathroom pit stop. That halfway. was stop number one. Stop number one, we're doing good. You think we can make it all the way this time? Uh, I don't know about, about mom's bladder. Yeah, I don't know mom. Got a long way left, but I'm gonna make it there tonight. Got my songs on the stereo. Spent a long time coming, but I know we're gonna be all right. Got an open road, I'm ready. We love you so much, have so much fun. Kaisen, I'll see you guys on Sunday. I love you so much. Have a great time, okay? You have your bag. So we made it to our hotel. This is, this is our, where we're staying for the next. <laughs> Look at our view though. This is such a cool view. And then last night there was actually fireworks right here. So neat. Chris and I are gonna go and try to find a spot for dinner. And we've just been chilling here. We moved around the furniture a little bit. I was doing some TikToks in here. It's like, what do you do when you don't have kids? You make TikToks. <laughs> I thought about 
uh, vlogging for just Jess, but I decided that I'm too tired. Like mentally and everything, just so drained and so tired. So we decided to just not vlog until we go back to our scheduled regular programming. We went shopping a little bit earlier. They have a big old mall here that we like went and checked out for a little while and then we came back here, took a nap, and now we are getting ready to go to dinner. So we'll see you guys tomorrow morning when we're headed home with the kids. Can you feel me? change of plans slight, slight hiccup about an hour and a half ago Landon called me super upset Landon called me saying that he is just really scared and he feels very uncomfortable and he's just begging me to come pick them up we are 10 minutes away this isn't the first time that one of them has called me in the middle of the night so I, this is like why we did it like this is just in case something like this happened I'm a little frustrated with the situation not on behalf of the kids but I think he just wants to be like laid with and like you know it's like a new place and it's I, I think he, he really just needs like someone to say like everything's okay like you're okay I tried to comfort him like over the phone I was like calling him texting him I was telling Kaisen like can you rub his back like lay with him help him I know his like iPad was dying and so he like went to go find a charger for him but I just, I don't think it was su sufficient. There's just so much more to the situation. Things just don't always work out, you know, the way that you hope that they will. He's just very unfamiliar with the situation, which is so fair, you know? Trying to balance, if I'm being totally honest with you guys, trying to balance, like I, I want him to like enjoy his time there and like, but at the same time, if your kid calls you saying he's scared and uncomfortable, like I'm, I'm not just gonna leave him there. There's no other adults tending to him. Yeah. So anyway, we're, Headed that way, we're actually almost there. He's texting me like every five minutes. Mom, please, mom, please, where are you, mom, please? We are about to be there. Mom, 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 please, mom, please. Headed. Well, we're actually headed to breakfast. We're gonna get breakfast before we head back today. How'd you guys sleep? Pretty good, pretty good. I, I slept on the floor, then I went back up because it was not not comfy and I got cold. I saw that. Yeah. Candy, how did you sleep, buddy? Good. Slept good? You feel better today? Yeah. We're gonna go to this breakfast place. It's called Two Chicks. Apparently, it's a really hot spot around here. A lot of people say it's amazing, so we're going to go try it out. And we're starving. I think it's pretty close by. Yeah, six minute drive. I thought I'd be fine, but now my, my heart don't feel right in this Two hours and 30 minutes. Two hours and 20 minutes? 30. Ready, Freddy's? <laughs> Too 
bad. It took us about two and a half hours to get home from our hotel. As far as I know, Lilia is, well, I know this for sure. Lilia had a family reunion to go to this weekend, so she's still with her dad. And then my mom took Caden and Addie, and it looks like they're still at the mountain house, so they'll probably be back later this afternoon. Oh, what a weekend, you guys. This is all of our shopping bags. I actually did a little bit of back-to-school shopping while we were there. They have this big mall in Reno. Because again, school starts very shortly here. It's about to be full-blown chaos. It's always chaos, though. Who am I kidding? Hi! You look like you had a lot of fun. It's so much fun that you need your hair washed. Did you go to the lake? Oh, that's cute. Did you go to the lake? Yes, you did. Mowgli loves to bring us treats. Oh, mom, you did it again. Ew, careful you go. I don't want to look at it. Yeah, he likes to bite the heads off. That's disgusting. Can't handle that. Got Chef Chrissery in here. <laughs> Chef Chrissery. Boyardee. Boyardee. He's making dinner. Look at daddy's home! It's our big brother Sunday setup. <laughs> the men on their phones. 